hellos and welcome back to a slightly more vloggy style video because that's different from everything i've uploaded recently i just prefer it um but i am doing another declutter video for you today um obviously these tend to be more vloggy anyway but i am doing my wardrobe declutter again now i did this back in february when i was still at my dad's and that was like my start of minimalism so i decluttered a lot of stuff a lot of stuff i was meant to sell which is now in the spare room because i haven't got around to it but i'm going to try my best um but yeah i ordered some basics on youtube <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> i ordered some basics on asos last night um like some new black skinny jeans because mine of like literally not even grey they're just so faded it's ridiculous and some other like basics so I want to declutter my wardrobe and I've wanted to do this for quite a while and I was like I'll wait till I've replaced some bits before I do it and then I recently now I say recently it's about a month ago I watched one of Elle's vlogs which was her decluttering her like summer wardrobe and then like the transitional kind of autumn winter wardrobe she was decluttering that and seeing kind of what fit her and what looks good and everything else and just you know got rid of stuff that she doesn't want to take into the next year and I thought Do you know what that's a really good idea and it's going to be like a proper try on video so I'm going to literally try on everything that's summer or in my opinion is summer kind of related see if I want to transition it to next year if I do it's going to go into a suitcase and go in the loft which is not something I normally do I normally keep it in one place but considering I literally only have that tiny wardrobe for my clothes it's probably not going to happen and then I am going to try on again my autumn winter stuff that I did keep from last well last winter which February of this year um and see kind of what stuff I'm going to keep I don't know if this will end up being two videos like Elle's because obviously a lot of stuff still considering I try to be quite minimalistic I still have a fair amount of stuff so that is what I'm gonna do obviously this is the start of the vlog I'm not sure kind of how much I'm gonna get to film now I might have to do a little bit during the day um like throughout the day um because it's gonna be quite time consuming um but yeah I hope you enjoy this um but yeah let's just get cracking let's just pull everything out pull everything out of the wardrobe well Let's start with summer stuff. Okay, ignore my attire by the way, I'm wearing pusheen pyjama bottoms and a cat jumper. Um, but you know, comfies. So, I'm literally gonna start one end and pull everything out because eventually I'm gonna do all of it. So, I don't know kind of how much I'm gonna do now, but there is maybe some bits that I know already without even trying it on that I am gonna get rid of, so. Okay, so that is that wardrobe empty. All that's in there is a pair of shoes, which are today, and a IKEA box thing. So, what I'm going to do now is I might put back in. Um, no, I'll put yeah, I'll put back in like my work tops because I'm going to have to keep hold of them for now because I definitely know I haven't got enough to replace them with. So that one, that one. That one. Oh. Spare hair. Look. Yeah. Any that aren't work, I'll obviously leave. So they're on my work top, so I've got five, so I've got one for every day. And I've got like, I think one other one in the wash. Okay, and the other thing in there is just the spare hangers. So I'm going to put them in Joe's side just because he has more space in his. And then let's just have a quick flick and decide if there's anything that's like definitely going to go. But I know two things right here that are. And they are this top that I really like from H&M. But i got paint stains on it. And it won't come out no matter what I try so that's gonna have to go and then these trousers as well which is really annoying because I hadn't had them that long before I got paint all over them 
So, yeah. So, really these are my H&M ones as well. These are my, like, nice trousers. If anyone knows how to get, like, this is gloss as well. It literally just won't come out. So, I don't know. I might keep them just to see if I can maybe get them dry cleaned. Um, and see if that will come out. I don't know. Yeah, I'll keep hold of them for now just to see if I can. But this top, to be fair, I've had it for quite a while anyway, to the point that it is faded, it's not proper black anymore. So that is going to go in the, to go to H&M pile, because H&M do a recycling scheme whereby you can take old clothes, whether they've got holes in or they're still good condition, um, that maybe aren't, you know, worth selling to you. Um, put them in a bag, take them there, and they give you a voucher, and it's five pound when you spend twenty-five pound voucher. But to be fair, it's not hard to spend twenty-five quid in H and M. So yes, now I've done that for quite a few years now. So yeah, I am gonna do these as well. I'm kind of going for the more summer clothes to try and get rid of now. But like I said, I'm just gonna go through a couple of little things quickly that I know I could probably just ditch, like these two cami tops i think they're both from forever 21 yeah um one like this one has faded quite a lot so i think i'm gonna get rid of that one i'm gonna try and replace it though um i might just pop to primark and get a new one of those this one's not as bad obviously i don't need two but i don't like the neckline on this because it's quite high whereas that one's like a proper like it's not a sweetheart neckline it's not a v-neck but you know what i mean where it actually like goes over there rather than just like sits across here so i'm going to keep that one for now but i'm going to take it out of the wardrobe because it doesn't need to be in there Right, the only other thing I have is I do have some stuff in the drawer here. I have a load of t-shirts and stuff, so I'm gonna get all them out. And like my shorts and bikinis because I don't need them out. Because I'm probably not gonna go swimming anytime soon. Right, so hoodies fine, I can go there. Um, okay, so I know I'm getting rid of these jeans because they're a size 14 and they definitely don't fit. So they can go. Uh, where am I putting it? Uh, these ones, to be fair, every pair of jeans I have don't fit, but I don't have any new blue ones. I'm going to keep these ones for now, these Primark ones although they fit so awkwardly like around here don't know what it is just the material because it's so thin they're just not not great but i'm gonna keep them for now just because i don't have any other jeans well i have one other pair that i think are on the floor um but yeah i'm gonna just separate these into piles i'm gonna put all my bikinis over here and then can, can go there. these i'm gonna get rid of as well these are just a pair of harem trousers i got oh years ago um that i used to use for traveling but i'm just gonna get something different or generally i'll just like wear leggings or something so that's fine they're gonna go my trousers these are all like work trousers these are quite baggy but i'm gonna keep them for now just because it's all i have and then these ones i think i have another pair yeah so i have another pair of work trousers so they're all going to go back in the drawer and then the only other thing i have i know i'm keeping 
is a pair of leggings again just for now i want to replace them really because they're a bit faded but they're staying for now so i think that's not too bad going what are we time wise 11 minutes past i've got to get ready in 20 minutes so i don't think i'm going to try any of this on but i'm going to show you quickly what i'm going to be working with so that is all bikinis that's just a hoodie to go back in there that i know is staying that's just got to somehow go in one of them drawers and then so that's my kind of t-shirts pair of shorts for summer dresses and stuff and then everything else kind of from my wardrobe and then i think oh it's not in here but in the spare room one minute, i have a shoe box that's kind of full of summer stuff and all my kind of pyjama shorts um, all ready to kind of go in a suitcase to go in the loft. Because I know I've kept up like two pairs of shorts, but I know I'm not really going to need shorts this time of year for bed. So that is my plan for this afternoon. Um, my appointment is at 10 to 11. So I'm hoping to get home for quarter past 11 and then I can do a bit of this. Off. I'm really excited like I want to do it now but I know I don't have enough time um so yeah anyway I'll catch you I don't know why I'm like I'm literally talking like it's a vlog but it's not like you don't even care you just want to see me declutter my clothes <laughs> so anyway I'll catch you in a bit okay so first off is this top from New Look um, this was in a semi-recent haul of mine. Um, I think I've decided I'm getting rid of it. I really like the actual top, like I like the cold shoulder, I like this kind of crochet detail at the bottom, but it just does not flatter me. I think it's just because it's just too boxy. If it was more fitted like that, I think it would look really nice, but I think it just doesn't, doesn't do me any favours, really. Um, I mean, let me know in the comments down below, obviously, what you think on this and kind of everything else that I meant. Um, try on in this video uh but yeah i'm not i'm not sure i've got like a mirror there trying to gauge but the mirror's too short but yeah i don't think i don't think i'm gonna keep that one while i've got that on i'm gonna just try this blazer quickly it's a pink blazer i don't think i've ever actually worn this i think i may have worn it once for my birthday once when we went out for a meal but that's about it so it's just a pink blazer it's quite like long sleeved though it's like kind of three quarters i'd say and it's like a really nice material like it's textured and it's kind of feels like really thick and nice it's a little bit see-through though still so it's not too thick but i don't know i just i've never worn it like i said i think i've worn it once just literally out for a meal and that was it but i just feel like it it's just too much it just i don't think collars really suit me like shirts and stuff they just don't look right and i don't think this looks right either obviously my hair's not done so it's just probably doesn't help kind of the overall look but i think that's gonna have to that's had its time i think so i'm gonna start a new pile of the to get rid of yeah let me know about the top on a note while we're here and um, this is one top that i kind of pulled out that i am going to keep it's not necessarily just summery obviously it's white but you can kind of wear this all year round it's got a couple of marks on it though which is annoying um but yeah i wore this for my birthday um when we went out for a meal funnily enough um and i really like it so i think this is one piece that you can kind of wear as a dressy piece like in autumn winter as well so that is staying okay next up is this kind of bardo top from h&m um i really like it like i like the way it flows and stuff although again it does make me kind of look a little bit bigger than i am so it's probably down a little bit but the thing that annoys me is my bra straps do it too but like the straps on it like that keep falling down all the time and i just feel like it's a little bit too big like the 10 was too small i think this is the 12 or i'm not sure because obviously h&m do small medium and numbers as well but i feel like it's just a bit too loose around here that it would just kind of 
slip down and bear all. So I think that that one's actually going to go because like the straps fall down like that and it's just then there's no support and then I keep pulling them up and it's just annoying. So that one is going to go and it's got a hole in it. Ah. Damn it. Okay, so next up is a dress. I believe this is from Primark a number of years ago because again I remember wearing this to my birthday when we went out for lunch um when was that my 18th no it might be my 19th birthday and I'm 23 now so yeah I really like it I really like the skirty bit it is like Kind of got a jersey layer and then like a fluty layer and i really like the color although the color on here doesn't match this necessarily um but i feel like it kind of sits on the hips right at the wrong point and makes this bit look really square and like quite big and it's almost a little bit kind of childlike i don't know because of the mesh bit i don't know i know you can get some really pretty dresses that have kind of a sheer kind of bit up here and it does look really nice but I just feel like the whole dress it just kind of looks a bit like like I'm going to a kids party do you know what I mean like I don't know so I think that's a maybe as well so let me know in the comment okay so next one another dress from H&M again a very long time ago um I really like this the only thing I the issue I have with it is the fact that it's white makes me really want to wear it in the summertime, but it's like almost like a wool material. It's really thick, so it's almost something you wouldn't wear in the summertime. Although I did wear this summer one year, and me and Kerry went to the pub, just sat in the pub garden having a couple of drinks. It was like really cute, but I don't know. I'm torn. I do really like it though. I didn't get to wear it this year though. I don't know, and it is a little bit see-through up here. As you can probably tell so I don't know I'll let you you can be my judge all right next up another dress from H&M this is like one of my old faves skater skater dress um I don't think I like this though again it does that thing where it sits at the wrong point of my hips and makes me look really wide down here um, if you've got a bit of a bloat going on, it's not ideal because obviously it's quite tight around here. And I don't know, I just think it's a little bit something and nothing really. It's a nice dress, but I don't think it looks right on me. Um, I almost think it's a little bit too long as well. If the skirt bit was like, because obviously there's like a seam around here, if the skirt bit was actually a bit higher, I think that would like, oh, hello, hang on, that would look okay. But as it is that bit sits like really low down i feel like it should sit like right under my kind of bust but it doesn't so i think that's gonna go too okay so this isn't a summary piece but it's one i kind of wanted to try on to see whether i was getting rid of it um and it ended up falling into the summer pile so i thought i'd just put it in with it now seen as it's on me now so anyway it's a smock dress from H&M I really like this I didn't realize quite how cute it kind of looked without tights as well because I normally only wear this in like autumn winter with a pair of tights um but I really like this my only thing is it was navy and it's kind of like faded quite a lot and just looks a bit I don't know just looks a bit old now <sighs> I like it. I really like the style of this. I've actually got another one from H&M, like from around the same time, which is more of a summery pattern. This one's slightly longer, I think. It's like exactly the same, but like a ditzy print. Again, I've worn and washed this so much, but it is staying because it's just like so easy to wear and just, yeah, I have nothing else to say, but I'm not even gonna try that one on because it's just adorable. Um, but I think this is going to go in the maybes. Please let me know. It is getting a little bit short. I don't know. It feels like it's okay at the back, but it feels a bit shorter at the front. Like I said, I generally would wear this with tights, but I don't know. Let me know if there's a way I can make this look a bit more something rather than the nothing that I feel like it looks like at the moment. 
a, another summer dress from Gap of all places. Um, now this stripe number you may have seen quite a few times. Um, I really really like this dress, it feels really nice on, it's got a good weight to it, it's still quite light and airy at the same time. It is a little bit too long for me I feel though because it goes down to my knees and the only thing, the only kind of reasoning why I'm debating on getting rid of it is the fact that I had a liquid lip drop on it and it won't come out like I've tried um, stain remover and it just won't come out. So. I don't know. I really like this dress. I only got it this year, um, but yeah, I'm I'm in two minds whether to keep this. I kept it for the rest of the year, even after I'd done that, and I still wore it. But I don't want people to see that and think, oh god, is she like come on her period or something because it's freaking pink stain. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. But yeah, I think it's a little bit too long. I think if it were a bit shorter. I'm a bit maybe more inclined to keep it but I think I'm definitely going to look for something like this next year. Okay so I'm trying on both parts for this, obviously I probably wouldn't pair them together necessarily, I would probably just wear a white cami top but I don't actually have one. Um, so I'm just putting this on just to show the skirt without flashing my chest. Um, I am going to keep the top because I really do like this, I only got it this year and I have worn it a lot already. Um, but the skirt I have had for a long time, this is from ASOS ages ago, it's navy blue with white like birds all over it. I had a pink one and a black one exactly the same as this, although they didn't fit quite as nice, um, but I have already gotten rid of them. Um, this is a little bit, I feel like it's a bit short, like my bum ends here, it's, mm, I don't know, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I don't really know whether to keep this. I think, I don't know if it does the same thing where it makes me look quite square at the bottom. Um, I feel like it does. I definitely couldn't wear it around my waist because it just looks horrible. Um, even if I had like a long top on, obviously this is cropped. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the skirt. I'm just going to hold this up. I'm not going to bother putting it on because I don't want to have to put it on and take it off. But this is the tulle skirt that I got from H&M uh, this summer. Um, I think there's a picture of me wearing it on my Instagram when we were on holiday. And I really, really like that. So that is staying. Okay, so pink pencil skirt from Forever 21, I think. Along with this top, if you're wondering, you haven't already seen the haul. Um, the only problem I have with pencil skirts is, obviously, I am 5 foot 2, so you can see my knee is here, my knee ends here, so it's an extra, like, inch and a half below my knee, and that's wearing it, like, really high up. Um, I wore this for my birthday with this top, actually, and it looked, like, really nice, um, even with, like, the length of this, obviously it's because it's below knee length, which obviously can make me look a bit shorter than I am um and I really like it I don't know I just I really like the colour I think it's like the perfect dusky pink um looks really nice like in summertime yeah the only bugbear I have is the length I might be able to get it taken up I don't know I might ask my mum see if she can take an inch off or something but yeah still let me know or see your thoughts down below Okay, so this skirt again is from Forever, Forever 21, I got it this year, um, I really like this, again I think it looks awesome with the tan, looks really nice with the white, and it's just like the perfect length, it is quite a mini length, a mini skirt, that's a, so 90s, um, but yeah, I really like that, and obviously it's got the more, a little bit more modern detailing with the lace up thing, so that's probably going to stay. Okay, another skirt from Forever 21, believe it or not. This one is from a couple of years ago, though. It is a black and white Aztec-y uh, pencil skirt again. Better length on this, though, because it comes above the knee. Um, and, yeah, I do really like this. It is a little bit on the tight side. Um, it, to be fair, always has been, like, since I've had it. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if because of the pattern going horizontally, whether it makes me look quite wide, I don't know. By the way, I kind of do have a bit of a complex, but 
I'm not saying this to be like, to get you to say, oh no, you don't look like that. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just being honest. Like to me, it makes me look wider than I probably am. So just obviously, please be honest. Um, I wouldn't be offended if you agreed, don't worry. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, so this is the last skirt I think I have, yep. And this is from Primark. Um, I got this while I was up in London with the girls actually. Um, I've worn it a couple of times since I think, but not much. Um, it is one of those ones I can kind of wear with tights in the autumn winter, which is good, um, as it's just black and white and it's got like polka dots on top of the stripes. And because they go kind of diagonally and have that wrap, I think it looks quite, I don't know, not slimming, but it complements my figure, let's put it that way. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. Again, maybe not even, should have, it may not, <laughs> maybe should have not been in this section, but still, let me know what you think. Okay, next up is one of two tops I have in this colour. Um, I really like this top, I like the flute a bit at the top, I like that it's got strappy straps, why do I say that all the time? But look at it, it is huge and it comes down really long, almost to where my skirt is. So that one is going to go unfortunately, it probably looks really nice on someone that's tall, but I don't think it looks good on me. Okay, so this is the other top, I'm not going to bother doing it up. Um, so I'm going to get out of it again in a minute. Um, I think I prefer this one in like the style because obviously it's a little bit shorter. I like the frilly bit across there and across the sleeves. But again, it looks so big. Um, I just don't think it flatters me. I don't like bodycon clothes, but I'm starting to feel whenever I put on stuff like this that it doesn't really, doesn't flatter me. So um, obviously comments, see what you think, um, but yeah, I don't think this one's going to stay either. Last thing again, kind of in the summary section because it's white but it is a jumper, more one I would wear. Okay, so again, I'm not going to actually bother putting this on because I know I'm going to keep it. I can't remember if this is the top that I wore with that lace up skirt um, in my Instagram picture or if it was the one I actually tried on with it, I think it's the one I tried on with it. But again, I did wear this on holiday and I do really like it. So it is staying. Another pink kind of strappy cami top, like a cropped one um, from Forever 21 this year. Um, got this for holiday. Didn't actually wear it, to be honest, but I think I will keep hold of this one um, for next year. Okay, so next thing is both of these items. So this top is Oh, sorry, it's from H&M uh, this year. Uh, it has like some holes down the back there. And it's just like white with, I think it's swallows, I don't know, all over it. I think it's quite cute. Um, the only thing is, it felt, I feel like it's shrunk. I feel like it wasn't quite this cropped before when I bought it. Um, and it only really works with high-waisted stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think to the top. The shorts are probably going to stay. They're a little bit big kind of around my waist, as you can see. I can pinch a whole lot of material at the back. Um, but I think with a belt, they're all right. And once I've sat down, it's, you know, if they were any tighter, they would be uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I know they're not the most flattering of like denim shorts, but I'm a Jennifer Aniston 90 shorts, so I like them. They're a little bit baggy, but and they don't like it's not like they flat your ass or anything, but I just they're comfy. They're like distressed denim, they're like proper worn. I bought these actually second hand. I think they were from Urban Outfitters, um, like many moons ago. But yeah, I really like these. I like worn denim, so yeah. I think they are gonna stay too. Let me know about the top and obviously let me know about the shorts if you think they're really not that great, but I think I'm gonna keep the shorts. To be honest, I probably didn't even need to like mention this. It was just a grey vest top from Primark. Um, this is staying because it's going to be a good kind of basic to have, like for underneath jumpers and stuff. So that's going to stay too. Okay, so this dress is from 
Primark a very, very long time ago. Um, I'm not sure about this, to be honest. One, it's not very, well, it's a little bit fitted to kind of round here, but it does look kind of straight up and down. Um, I don't really like red. I think it, you know, I have been told it looks good on me, but I don't really like red. I kind of trying to go for a bit more of a streamline in terms of colours wardrobe in like black white kind of millennial pink and like a little bit of um a kind of turquoisey blue um but yeah this is not it doesn't fit in with that obviously it's red and I have the same issue with the straps falling down and it just looks stupid um so yeah I think that one's had its time okay so this is a play suit from H&M. This is what I had to buy in Brighton when a seagull shat on me. Um, it's literally the only thing I could bloody find to buy. Um, I do really like it though. I think this bit's not that flattering on me, but for holiday, play suits are the one. So I am gonna keep hold of this for now. I am gonna try and get some like ones that are maybe a little bit more flattering. I don't know if play suits even can be um, for next year but this one is going to stay for now. This is kind of the colour that I was on about um, that I kind of want to keep in my wardrobe. Um, again, I'm not trying this on because I do want to keep this dress. I do really like it. I think it's from H&M. Yeah, H&M. I think it was like last year maybe. Um, do really like it. I think it's got a pull in the skirty bit somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep that for now because I do really like it. Okay. This one again is from H&M, it's just a basic skater dress, um, obviously it's not, I don't know, it looks a bit childish in, with the nautical stripes and the kind of um, denim-y kind of bit on the bottom, but I don't know, I quite like it, it's just a bit fun, it's kind of just a holiday throw on kind of thing, it's a good one just like if you're going down to the beach or just down to the pool, it's just a throw on, so I'm going to keep that one again for now, obviously I'm going to try and um, change up a bit of my summer wardrobe next year, um, but for now this one is going to stay. So this is the dress that I wore in Brighton that I did get shot on by a seagull. Um, obviously I've washed it since and it no longer has stains on it. Um, I'm not going to try this on just because it's a pain in the ass to put on. Um, I might try and get a clip out of the haul that I filmed it from and put it in here, but if I don't, if you're wondering what it does look like on, go and look at my Forever 21 haul from quite a while ago, I think a couple of months ago, um, and you can see this on, but I'm going to keep it for now because I do think it is like really nice for holidays. Okay, and the only other thing I have is this um, kind of floral crochet top. Um, I was actually given this by Joe's mum. Um, I'm going to try it on quickly. You are going to be able to see my bra though, so. Bay. Okay, so I did put a top on underneath just because you know I don't want to get my video unmonetized for bra showage. Um, but yeah, I think I've decided I'm not going to keep this just because it's a little bit on the tight side. Um, but yeah, it is really pretty, but it's a little bit too small for myself. So I think that actually concludes all of my kind of summer section unless anything is being worn at the moment and it's in the wash but I don't think there is so I hope you enjoy this video sorry it was a little bit long but I kind of feel like these videos can justify being that kind of length or this kind of length um let me know in the comments down below about any of the items um I might try and put the numbers on the screen so it's easier for when you're writing the comments for which item you're talking about um but yeah Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already. I will be doing an autumn winter version of this as well. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys. Sorry, I'm just like butting in a little bit. Um, obviously I said I would do an autumn winter version of this. Turns out I'm probably not going to because the only stuff I had was like some long sleeve t-shirts and stuff that I know I'm going to keep and jumpers that I know I'm going to keep. Um, I may do another one of these again in the future though, if you enjoy it. So obviously, like I said, let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.